What's going on family? It's Keish here and I'd like to welcome you back to today's episode of your Monday Mindset Drip. Now you know I start these episodes so they can start you out with some power for the week, okay? So that no matter what you, what comes into your path for this week, you're able to just mentally know how to handle it. So I was trying to think over the weekend, I thought about it today, so it took us long to put the video out, is what exactly can I share with you all that's gonna help you just get that, mm, that power that you need to get you going for the rest of the week. So what I thought about is every single day, you normally see me sharing what it is I'm working on as far as inspiration, spirituality, just something to get your mindset in the correct place, no matter what you're gonna you know, come into. So what I start to do today is I'm gonna share a couple of books that I'm reading and studying, okay? It's more about just reading. You gotta study it and apply what it is that you're reading. And I want to share that with you today. So one of the books, you, know, you see me post it pretty much over the last month, month and, month and a half, is this one right here. Consciousness is what I am. So that by Joel Goldsmith. This book right here, although it's small, you'd be like, man, you can get a lot of information out of it. That's what's taking me so long to actually go through it. Cause it's like, whew, some good stuff. And it mainly talks about that every single thing that we're going through, we have the power within ourselves when we develop a certain consciousness. Cause it all, it's all in here. It's all in here. It might seem like it's out here in the material world and in the physical, but every single thing that we need, every single answer, is within ourselves and once we start to develop certain um, tools start meditating start just getting back with us and we know that everything the God is within us the Spirit of God everything is within us we we'll start to look at things in a different way and start to manifest those different things that you want into the physical reality okay and I'm gonna give you everything about the book because not a book summary but I just want to know I want you to know that this is an excellent book for you to start studying okay Another one, I haven't actually started it yet until I finished the other book, but I was recommending this one last week. It is The Almanac of Novel, and I ain't gonna say the last name because I don't wanna mess up the name, but this one talked about, Mentor Mind was talking about this one because it talks about a guide to wealth and happiness. So it gives different examples, and then it also, every book that I read, it kinda ties back into the same things about everything being within you when you start to develop the proper consciousness, right? So everything is in here. Every single thing, especially if you're doing business, you got it in here. So this is one of the reasons why I got this particular book. So excellent book, I'm pretty sure, because a mentor recommended in time, somebody recommends something, I'm like, hey, let me get it. Because technically there's no secret to how to live the life that you want to deserve. It's all out here in books. It's all out here in a lot of mentors' heads. So once you start to just apply that and start doing the tools, getting your tools, and follow instructions, you're gonna see that, man, life, whew, life can get so good for you, I promise you. This one right here is um, similar. Someone recommended this to me as well. It is the secret nature of matter. This right here shows you and gives different real life examples on how people are able to utilize um, the energy of love, because you know everything starts with gratitude and love, to start to project that onto others and start to try and put this in the proper terms for you. Get the life, um, manifest the life that you want, okay? But we know it all starts in us, and one of the first things is feeling, and love is a powerful, powerful feeling. When you're able to just shift it, right, to where it needs to be, once again, your life will change. Another one, I love all uh, Robert Green. I love his books, for one, I love his books. This one right here, I ended up getting up to the airport. Maybe, I think at the beginning of this year, I got this at the airport, because anytime I see his books, I gotta pick it up. So this is the Daily Law. So what it does, me and my nephew was actually reading it through it when he was in school. It gives you every single day, all right, see it has April, every single day, it gives you a daily law. Something for you to follow, something for you to practice. You know, I'm all about practicing certain things, okay? When it comes to practicing, it gives you every single thing. You see it says 366 meditations, right? You have a lot of different stuff in here. So if you're all about, hey, I need an actual guide, right here, the daily laws, and it refers back to a lot of his other books. So if you're all about just learning, just how to be confident, right? How to get that power that you deserve. Powerful book. And then, of course, you know, I love my numerology, right? So right here, King Simon, right? And all these books you can find on Amazon. Right here, it says, Numeration for Mental Stability. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but he, I did a reading with him, and he actually recommended this because I'm a Pisces, so you know, I love all that type of numerology. It's all this stuff. I love it. So this was going to show me how um, Elma helped me when it comes to different personalities, especially when it comes to astrology, on how to handle those personalities as well as myself and how to get past that. And then if I come across 
Um, it also deals with mental, right? So you can kind of learn how to navigate through that, okay? So I'm keep, keep it simple. So you got this one. And then you know, I'm all about manifesting. So of course, this is an oldie, but a classic of mine that I've read quite a few times, The Science of Getting Rich. And what I love about each one of these books that I recommend to you, they all tie back in to the same thing, letting you know that it's everything that you want to manifest into the physical world is right here, right here. Once you get that, that feeling going, okay? Once you start reading the proper materials, following the right people, getting in the proper environment of people that support your dreams and goals, there is no limit. There's no limit to how far you can go, but it all starts within here, okay? That's why I told you before, there's no secret. Like all the answers you need are in books within yourself and all the answers in the books, basically to point back to you. So once you start to conquer you, become a better version of yourself, you're gonna see, like I promise you, your life's gonna be so much better. And then the last, right? But not the least, right? It's supposed to be the first, but I want to save it to the end, because you say the best for last, is, my first book boom you got this okay so what i give you start you heard, heard me talking about the i go say 48 laws of power but the daily laws because it gives you um action steps every day the same thing here i created this book to give you an actual something tangible that you can hold that you can write in because they deal with your different senses that you can write in and take action it's all about action you can watch the videos all day no matter who you're watching but if you're not taking action nothing's going to happen okay so the way i designed this particular book is it's an action journal so as you're going through it let me show you a little brief you see that it's lines in it because every day i give you an action step that's going to help help you develop the proper mentality the proper mindset to be able to go out and do whatever it is you want to do in life but it all starts with the mindset so if you have not ordered your copy of my newest book you got this you can find on amazon you can simply Google my name, Lakeisha Styles, or you can go to the website, dripsuccess.com. All right. So I hope that you have found some type of value in this video for today. And I'm looking forward to coming back with you to episode number three on next Monday, showing you how to develop the proper mindset. So no matter what comes at you, you are all good. All right. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe wherever you're watching this at, especially on the podcast. If you haven't followed my podcast yet, don't worry if you post it below this video. So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all on the next episode of Monday Mindset Drip. You guys stay blessed, stay prosperous, and have a wonderful rest of the week.